Lisa. <laughs> Tell me, what, what are we doing today? Okay, we are going to a winery. We have to interview the people in the winery about like which wine is famous, the tourists, which wine uh, should taste when they come to Padova. And then we are going to, I hope we are going to taste wine. And then we are Fingers going crossed. to visit the winery. And I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Today is Saturday and we're gonna visit a winery. We meet at the train station here. Currently there's a other bus station. I found her. <laughs> so comprare si? Didn't know which ticket to buy in the app. But now we know. Hopefully it's the right one. with the bus and from there we're gonna go to the winery but it's not that far away so we just first uh, are gonna visit the town a little bit you're because excited it, yeah because <laughs> it's a very small Italian town and it's so beautiful but <laughs> probably uh -huh. not that big but I mean just look at I mean, just look at the big called it's wine street yeah wine street so oh. that says yeah. it all. First culinary experience for today. I ordered some lasagna because I'm very hungry and we have to walk like 40 minutes and yeah, until we arrive at the winery. Hey. Yeah, on the way to the winery, how many yeah, how many minutes? 17 minutes. Left. Okay. So hard, such a hard life. <laughs> <laughs> if you want good things you have to take these challenges. Yeah, you have to get out of the comfort zone and do crazy stuff, so yeah. <laughs> So we finally arrived here, that's the winery, so I guess let's go in. Got a little introduction of this place, so I show you the mountains here, these are the Euganian mountains and they were a long time ago they were pushed upwards and they um, are remain of yeah. the sea like million years ago yeah so there was a sea so the soil here is very special it's like with two different kinds of soil here like uh, scalia which is that ground here which is uh, yeah very dry and it's not easy to grow um, grapes here and they also have trachito which is the other kind of soil uh, yeah, they have different kinds of, of grapes here, like Pinot Noir, and they, um, in the fermentation process, they leave the stem on, uh, like on the grapes, and they just press it, and yeah. I wish you could feel the smell. So the, basically the grapes are coming here after the harvesting, they stay here. Uh, and at around 26, 27 degrees, the red wine is going to ferment. Okay, here in the aging room. <laughs> so basically the white wines, like the white muscat, is coming here to this place in these stainless steel tanks after the fermentation. And it's aging. And the red wines, they go to the oak barrel and just before bottling, they also get filled in like a stainless steel tank here, but they mainly age in the oak, oak tank, like the Pinot Noir. Here we are in the showroom of the winery, so I can, uh, <laughs> I can, can show you a little bit. So that was the winery tour for today. So apparently there's no bus that goes to Monselice. We just left the winery and we need to go to Monselice to go to Padova again. And from to Monselice it's like one hour and then one hour 
yeah. to walk one hour to by walk to, yeah we are yeah. going to walk to Monsalice by walk then take the bus from Monsalice to Padova winery uh, Vinalta winery uh, so we just tried hitchhiking for the first time <laughs> oh my we, god I love Italian did. people yeah <laughs> Italian people are very cool uh, crazy day today uh, we just arrived at the train station, so we were driven by by some nice Italian people here that picked us up. We had the best experience. Ever. Yeah, we really did. Like we both, it was the first time hitchhiking for us both, <laughs> and we it was like the second car that stopped. So yeah, we we kind of were lucky, but mm -hmm. it was was really cool. And yeah, <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the videos we took today, and stay tuned for the next one.